What's up guys? I wanted to talk today about building your business. I get asked, I get asked, you know. A lot of people ask me to talk more about finances, to talk more about business, to talk more about branding, marketing, being an entrepreneur, all that great stuff. I'm happy to do so if you guys wanna listen. And we've gotten enough questions, so I'm gonna start answering. The first one is comes from a lot of the trainers out there, and I wanna answer that one first to get the conversation and the concept understood by you. What we want to do is it's, it's, it's all about ROI. It's about the return on investment, the capital, the money that you're actually putting into it investing, or the time, the work hours, the, the, the sweat equity, as they say. You need a return on your investment. And to be a successful businessman or woman, you must focus on what that return will be. The greater my return on investment, the more I can invest capital or time into other products or services to enrich the lives of our intended consumer. So if you're looking to run a gym business, many people, more people than I've spoken to on this topic, all want to run the big gym, the Globo gym. And I would say a big gym is anything above 10,000 square feet. 10,000 square feet, 30,000 square feet. I know people that are running 50,000 plus square foot facilities. And let me tell you, Mo square footage, mo problems. That is the truth. The bigger the gym, the bigger the nut you have to crack at the end of every month to pay all those bills. Because guess what? Owning a 5,000 square foot facility or a 50,000 square foot facility, there is no question, no question, a 5,000 square foot facility will be much more profitable. Much, much, much more profitable. And owning a 5,000 square foot facility, and that's even big. My own facility is under 2,000 square feet. The ROI per square footage on that facility, on the other hand, massive. And that's what it's about. I want the fewest possible square feet as I can get my hands on to maximize the ROI, to maximize the return. And you might get, you could get to the point that that one small facility you have gets so big that you, instead of doubling in size, double your price. Whoa, Dolce, are you crazy? I'll lose half my customers if I double my price. Exactly. It is what it is. If that many people want to trade with you, want to work with you, want to be around you, want to be mentored by you, want to bask in all the amazing that you are, they will pay a higher rate for it. The higher rate that they pay, you as a good business owner must reinvest back into them, back into your ability to invest even greater quality time, your own personal time, your intention, or improve the services that you provide, the material goods that they might receive, the quality of content, the staff that interacts with them directly. You wanna constantly be taking what comes in and, and reinvesting it. That doesn't mean don't reinvest it in your life because if you're living on your own private island, flying your own jet back and forth to serve your greater community, well, Richard Branson does a pretty damn good job at that. Bill Gates does a pretty damn good job at that, right? Some of these, these tycoons, Elon Musk does a pretty good job at providing amazing high quality services to the community. Now, few are those, of course. Few are the names that I just mentioned. Mark Cuban would be another one, but they do exist, and that should be that should be the the goal to live like that. Even as a fitness trainer, opening your own first um, box gym, you know, your own private gym in your garage at first. Same thing. What do you need? You need a motivated coach. People say, "What what piece of equipment should I buy first? And oftentimes, if I want to be a wise ass and I hurt people's feelings, which I apologize, I guess. I say you have to be a competent coach. That's the first piece of equipment. Knowledge is the first piece of equipment. You have to be a competent coach before a barbell, before a kettlebell, before a, a reverse hyper machine. The quality of the coaching, that's what matters but much more than anything else. There are coaches on this planet who I am friends with and I look up to. They could take any human, really almost any human, I don't care what the disability is, they could take any human and dramatically improve them outside of the gym setting. If they were stuck on a, a deserted island, just them for, for two years or four years, an Olympic training cycle, if you will, they would turn that human into a specimen, a specimen with no specialized training equipment. So that's number one. 
And then if you have a barbell and some plates, number two, and maybe a couple kettlebells, number three, and, and a, a, a chin-up dip station that you can easily rig, whoo, and you can have all that for maybe a couple hundred dollars maximum in a garage gym. Done deal. You can make thousands of dollars per month with just that alone. If you're if you're a quality coach, step one. If you're a quality coach, you can crush it. Be net positive day one and start to build that nest egg, your war chest that will fund your bigger facility. Now, here's another thing: no debt, no loans, no investors, no 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 mortgages, no no credit, no 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 purchases unless it's cash flow, cash flow everything. Cash flow everything. There's there's no no loans. There's no nothing's on credit. If you don't have the cash for it, you can't afford it. I don't care. But it slows back my growth. Good dummy, because you're not good enough to grow that fast because you haven't earned the cash to get there. Teach yourself how to earn that much cash to manage that much cash, and then you can start reinvesting that cash, your own money, into your growth. Because a funny thing happens when you're investing your own money into your own growth, it becomes very personal. Very personal. You make decisions that you wouldn't normally make. You make better decisions. You will pain over these decisions and you will in your gut instinctively know that that's the right decision to make. That's the way to do it. So I hope this video helps. I'm just kind of giving a, an outline of, of, of this topic. If you guys want to hear more about this topic, I need a thumbs up and I need comments below because typically this is just a fitness channel, right? Keto versus vegan or whatever the hell you know people are talking about. How to lose weight, get shredded. But if you want to hear more about this business stuff, if you want to hear more about you know the the branding, the marketing, you know being more specific in the fitness world, I am in the fitness world. I own a real estate company. Also, we could talk about that long term investments and retirement or what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm not eating dog food uh, when I don't feel like going to work anymore. This is information that we should be sharing now in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, in your 50s. This is this is good talk, good conversation. And I've I've been <laughs> I've been around the block a few more times than, than a lot of people, and I've had access to hang out and be influenced by some of the, the, the greatest, smartest, most successful humans on, on the planet, which is amazing. And I've been able to glean some of that information and, and kind of pull it into my own world. And now I can share it with you if you guys are down. So give a thumbs up if you want to hear more of this stuff. Leave comments below of exactly what more you want to hear or if you want me to go deeper on any of these points I just brought. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't because that's actually a big part of it. And make sure your notifications are on. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Make sure your notifications are on. Maybe you do, but that's what all the other YouTubers say. So that's what I think I have to start saying. Um, and until next time, boom.